daily exponential functions. So how we can model? Let's see with the A. The population of Medway, Ohio was 4,007 in 2000. It expected to decrease by about 0.36% per year. Write a decay exponential function and use it to approximate the population in 2020. So let's see first of the formula for the decay, uh, formula for the exponential decay model. And we already know this from previous video, a t was equal with the, with the 4,000 initial value. So the initial value is 4,000, 0.4,007 time 1 minus r, 1 minus r. But r here is, uh, is r here is a 0.36%. And this is 0.36%, I want to write in a numerical value. And if we want to write a numerical value, we have uh, to divide, uh, uh, let me see, this is 0.36, 36, we divide by 100, divide by 100, and we get the numerical value, which is a 0 0.0036. So is minus 0 0.00, let me see that there were two zeros, 36, yes, 36 in exponent, in exponent t. So this is the exponential decay model formula, which was, uh, which uh, it was equal, so I have here the formula. So the formula here is, as we see, a of t in decay. So exponential decay model is a of t is equal to a times 1 minus r in exponent t. So now we are going here, we just uh, plug in the values, numerical values in the formula. Instead of a, is initial value is 4007 population. Here is 1, here is a minus r, and in exponent t. So we have everything there. But now, if we wanted to make an uh, equation, an exponential function, we can make it uh, this way. A of t is equal with the 4,007, this initial value. Initial value represents how many people they were initially in the year when we are calculating, 4,007. And here, 1 minus r, we find the factor b. Let's calculate here with the formula. Let's write here plus minus. And uh, plus 1. And we get 0 0.9964. So is a 0. 0.9964. So the factor b is a smaller than 1. Whenever the factor b is a smaller than 1, we have a decay in exponent uh, t. So, but here what we are looking to find, we are looking to find here what is going to be the, how much population is going to be in 2020. And this population here, 4007, was in 2000. From 2000 to 2020 are 20 years. So this we can calculate this way. So we put the number of the of the population what was in 2000. The initial value is 4007. And here is a timer 0 0.9964 in exponent of 20. And we are going to take care. Let me write a little better those numbers so we know what we wrote. So in exponent uh, 20, here is exponent 20. So let me not make a mistake. And now let's take care of it. So already I have uh, this number 0 0.9964 and I'm going this to put in exponent 20. And when I put, I have the number 0 0.9341. And this I multiply by the initial value, which is a 4,007. 
and I get a value 3,728. Uh, 3, so 3,000, so A of T is going to be after 20 years, so T, let me write a 20 here, after 20 years, the population is going to be equal to the adjusted let me see again, I think it was a 3 first, 3,000 and 728, 728. So this is the number of the population, how much is going to, how many is going to be in years 2020. So now let's go here in a B. Tom star started studying a new branches on history changes every year. The relationship between the elapsed time t in the years since a Tom started studying history and the total number of its branches n of t is modeled by the following function. n of t is equal to 42 times 1.75 in exponent t. How many percent of the branches are added or subtracted? We already know. If we are looking in a formula here, the b here, the b is a greater than one. It th it means we have we have a, a exponential growth model. So this is an exponential exponential growth function. If we are looking here again in this formula here, we can see we can use this. Uh, just let me. We can use this formula, a of t is equal to a times 1 plus rt, and the b is equal to 1 plus r. And now we are going to see here how we can find the, this percentage here. And we already saw there, let me take a different color. We already saw b is equal to 1 plus r. 1 plus r. And here we see b is equal to 1.75. 1. 0.75, 75 is equal to 1 plus r, 1 plus r. And what we are doing here, now subtract both sides 1, if we are subtracting both sides minus 1, minus 1 here and minus 1 here, and this implies, this implies r is equal with, with a 0 0.75 because 1 minus 1.75 minus 1 is a 0 0.75 and in the other side 1 and minus 1 cancels is one zero point seventy five. so r is equal to 75 percent so uh, the we are adding the percentages we add those percentages in 75 percent we add each year the tree in the tree those branches are going to add for 75 percent so 